So when it comes to selecting therapies such as IL-23s for patients with moderate to severe psoriasis, the most important thing is to consider comorbidities and contraindications. So patients with a history of inflammatory bowel disease are contraindicated to IL-17s and we know that IL-23s may be indicated in the future for IBD. So inflammatory bowel disease is a very important aspect of psoriasis to consider. When we look at the uh, data from the IL-23 tiltrakizumab, we notice that patients do extremely well with respect to not only plaque psoriasis, trunk and limbs, but also special sites. So any patient that is indicated for a biologic therapy is a candidate for tiltrakizumab. I think this, uh, any patient with psoriasis who needs a biologic is a candidate for interleukin-23. There, there's no true contraindications like we see with some of the other classes. If you have psoriasis, you can be treated with an interleukin-23 inhibitor. There are some patients who might uh, find it challenging to stick with a therapy every week or every two weeks. So I find having patients with every 12-week therapy, I can administer it in my office, so I'm making sure that they're getting their treatment on the proper schedule. I think, you know, really with this class uh, of molecule, you can, you can take on all comers. Um, um, you know, certainly we are seeing, we, we've seen high efficacy w with the uh, three approved dial 23 therapies uh, for treatment of moderate to severe psoriasis. Uh, comorbidities are extremely important, so for instance, uh, we always will uh, assess for the potential presence or diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis. Um, we have to consider other comorbidities such as inflammatory bowel disease. Um, you know, we just look at the, the, the patient's history as a whole. Um, that being said, IL-23 therapy, I, I, I think, can apply to the vast majority of uh, uh, patients, if, if not all patients. Uh, L'autre chose, souvent, certains patients ont eu des biologiques qui étaient plus, euh, plus anciens, pour lesquels le traitement n'a pas fonctionné. Souvent, c'est des patients qui vont avoir plusieurs comorbidités, euh, qui vont avoir aussi euh, d'autres problèmes euh, médicaux. Euh, puis pour moi, euh, c'est des patients qui ont besoin d'un profil d'effet euh, secondaire qui est sécuritaire, puis d'avoir une excellente efficacité. Euh, donc c'est le genre de patient que je vois pour le, 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 le psoriasis, ben pour le, les IL-23. Euh, souvent, c'est euh, pour le racusumab des patients qui vont être euh, affectés de, par exemple, peu importe le nombre de comorbidités ou l'indice de masse corporelle, je n'hésite pas à utiliser le racusumab. Euh, souvent, si pour une arthrite psoriasique, je considérais peut-être jusqu'à un niveau léger euh, pour lequel je vais donner tilracuzumab. Puis, il n'y a presque pas de patients pour lesquels, euh, en général, je n'utiliserai euh, pas un inhibiteur d'IL-23.